Okay, so I'm going to start. We're going to start putting this together. This is for the collage. Look at the. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glue. I'm going to use some of these. This here, right up. And a Q-tip. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, I am not going to get this all finished today. It's going to probably be finished tomorrow. And I'll have to do some things in between. Now, of course, you say, how do you learn how to draw if you're just going to skip a few steps? Well, it's not exactly skipping a few steps. This is a new technique that I've been doing for five years. So it's not exactly skipping it. However, I am going to show you how it's done. Now, this is the first paper. And what I'm going to do before I even glue this on... Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. <clears throat> but I do think I can do it. I'm going to try to get an outline of some kind in there. Yeah, so this is how to draw, how to do a biling puzzle collage. So if you think of these like pieces of a puzzle, if you think of it like pieces of a puzzle, I'm trying to prop this up properly so we can see what's going on here. So I have, fa I have relatives who are in Northern California who are braving these fires. Uh, we're known as the fire state. Of course, we're known as the bear state, but we're known as the fucking, like, fire state. I mean, I remember 10 years ago we had fires. Uh, and, like, it was a Castaic near Magic Mountain. All kinds of places. They would name the fires. And we had like 10 fires going on at once. And the sky is what you see over, right now over Disneyland. It's this yellowish tinge and pieces of ash would fall like snowflakes. And it's like that now, but it was definitely like that coming towards Montebello, California. Uh, now, my, my relatives are fine. Uh, they did have to evacuate. Uh, they had mandatory evacuations in some places. So they did have to get out of the, uh, they get away from the fires. I'm gonna try to get this blue outline. I have to actually draw on this poor book board here. Got three minutes in here. Just checking the time. But yeah, it was, it was, you know, it was hard. But yeah, my family's in a, you know, temporary place right now until they can figure out how to take care of these fires because they hit, uh, my, my, uh, my relatives didn't have a proper signal on their phone to uh, send text messages back. But I'm sure everybody's fine. I'm just trying to draw all this in. This is really the hardest, the only hardest part. Even though this is going to get covered up by some of the shapes on in my bag. And keep in mind, I don't have all the shapes ready. That's also why it's not going to be done today. But for this new technique on how to, how to make Bai Ling, uh, I, had to, I have to kind of hold your hand for this first time I ever do this. Uh, if I do another one of these, I think I'm going to do a 3D version of, of this. Uh, we'll go very quickly on it. And then when we get to the point where I need to kind of slow down and show you the, the steps here, then we'll do that. 
but you know we get impatient we want to go faster on things as time goes on but for this first time you have to kind of see everything that i'm doing okay because this is a how-to this is not mcdonald's here you got to kind of sit through this okay now what i think i'm going to do is put this on top of that so it must be done is I have to use some of this and I'm going to see if I can just do it in front of you. And what I will do is things like arts and crafts. We will, I will use the Q-tip here. Go ahead and spread that around because if I don't, what's going to end up happening is, and actually I'll show you a little bit of what I'm doing there, kind of spreading that out. What's going to happen is um, the paper will warp and I'm going to probably put some heavy books on it just to make sure that we don't have this problem. But I just want to make sure that we don't have too many white areas here and that uh, if I can possibly do it, if it's possible, I can just get it on there nice and neat. But don't ever say this is easy, okay? Taking a shit is easy. Jerking off is easy. Taking a piss out in the bushes is easy. This is hard work. But it seems that uh, Bai Ling had a nice birthday. She turned 51 años. So, um... You know, cualquier, la mujer, cualquier quiere hacer, you know, party with, you know, the guys, party out there, Hollywood party. I'm not much of a party person, to be honest, but I'm glad she had fun. Okay, so that's this thing here. It looks like a nice painting, doesn't it? And I'm going to put it right on top of that. I hope to God it works. I may have to actually grip it a bit. And the trick is to kind of, okay, that's not bad. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do now is put in the clouds, for there are two, you see. Now, I could have finished this at any time, but I wanted for your benefit to see what I'm doing. So, we got two clouds, these two, and I think we'll do it in the way I have it, okay? So, and then I'll add some white. We'll add the white to give it a depth and some white out. So, if I may... I'm going to add a little bit. Okay. I'm going to add some, uh, we're going to spread this glue around. It's a little more time consuming. It's not like drawing on paper where it's easy. But I am doing it. I just, I turned in my, uh, I turned in a 4,000 word story about a boy from Japan who saves New York City uh, or tries to restore New York City, even though it's been destroyed and turned into a mechanical city uh, run by robots. I call it the Wacky Robots. Um, it was based on an idea that I was trying to do years ago that was kind of reminiscent of like Mickey, Mickey Mouse cartoons or Bugs Bunny, where it was like you go to this fantastic city that's like, you know, rise of the machines type of, you know, post-apocalypse uh, thing. And as you can see, there's warping already. I don't think I could avoid this, but um, what I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do the best I can here. But yeah, you're going to see the warping. But this is going to look nice. It's going to look very nice and neat. And 
Yeah, I think I can do one more. This this Q-tip is already getting fucked, isn't it? And uh, yeah, so I'm turning. There's another one I want to do for. It's a Walt Whitman uh, kind of uh, award thing. It's thirty five dollars to submit it, but I think it's like it's Walt Whitman. You know, it's like it's like a really high maintenance kind of contest. And maybe if I have a chance to enter that, um, I'm going to write a series of poems, of course, and see how that goes. And hopefully that works out for me. Okay. I'm hoping that works. Okay. Now that's not bad. All right, so what I want to do now is I'm going to add this white out and see if I can add little patches of cloud just to give it depth. I hope I don't, I hope I don't make this ridiculous. It just kind of just a little bit, just to kind of add. Yeah, you don't want to add too much. And then what I have to do is add white pencil. I was just thinking of these uh, these weird guys that do uh, religious uh, theater, church, kind of church theater. You know, if you get off on the red line towards Sunset, Vernon and Sunset, I think it is, uh, or Sunset in Vermont. I don't remember which one it was, but uh, near Children's Hospital, they have these, these dumbasses, they, uh, they try to hand out pamphlets for their like a church uh, funded theater on stage I don't know it's not my thing and it never will be okay so I'm going to use this white pencil or you could use white crayon but the white pencil will show up okay um, you know you would say that because it's white white on white won't show up exactly but you still want to get something And it's hard to see it, but when you put it together, let's see what time it is. This is the only time, the only place I really have to do any real extra work on top of gluing the shapes, because I want to, I want the clouds to blend in with what's happening. Okay. Um, this will be the end of the vid this video. Uh, when next you see, when you see the next video, I'm going to put this ground here and add the yellow brick road. So, see you in a bit.